And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm back. YouTube can't keep me away forever. Well, they can, but they haven't yet. <laughs> so we're back after a seven day suspension for a wrong thing. I said the wrong things and stated a fact that they didn't like, pretty much. Susan! <laughs> well, we're back and we're gonna be uh, hitting a few stories. This one is in regards to NATO membership. This time, Swedish Prime Minister, Magdalena Andersson has stated that she'll not be pursuing a possible application for her country to join NATO, arguing that an application could further destabilise Europe. Now, I don't actually blame them for wanting to back away from NATO, considering considering NATO's inadequacies that are being proved on a daily basis, NATO's happy thirst for more and more conflict, and we've also seen all of the media and all of the rest saying all the same sort of rubbish, haven't we? That everything's going really, really, really Really, really bad for the Russians. Well, it seems that the Swedish Prime Minister doesn't agree with the media, and neither do we, do we really? That's also not to say anything about the fact that NATO and the NATO member states are pretty much tied to Russia at this point. If you're not too sure what I'm talking about, keep your eyes open for the next video, and it will be all explained in that. But it seems to be that we're rattling sabres, and NATO are rattling sabres, and the EU are rattling sabres, and the US are rattling sabres, while being completely dependent on Russia. So you can understand why the Swedish Prime Minister has said, no, I'm not having anything to do with that one. You can uh, deal with that one yourselves. Leave us out of it. <laughs> I think this is probably going to be the first of many. Now, if you didn't know, Sweden is <coughs> closely linked politically and mil militarily with Finland, who are also considering joining NATO. So it wouldn't surprise me if Finland back out of the deal now as well. But I'd like to know your opinion. What, what, I'd like to know your opinion. What's your opinion on this? Do you think that this is going to be like a domino effect where everyone's like, I'm not having anything to do with NATO anymore. I'm done. <laughs> also makes you wonder why she's dropping NATO for Russia, considering our media and our politicians and the leaders of the NATO membership and everybody else have all been screaming that it's practically over for Russia. Well, if that was the case, why would she be trying to back away? It's, a, it's an honest question, isn't it, everyone? If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out. Stay sane. See you on the next one.